pull baby boomers age into retirement, San Diego's senior population continues to grow at an unprecedented pace. Both limited income and San Diego's high cost of living, many older adults don't have enough income to meet basic needs. And that's where Meals on Wheels steps in to provide a hot meal and human connection to thousands of homebound seniors. President and CEO Brent Wakefield is joining us to share more about their mission. Welcome. Thank you so much for having us. Now, Brent, Meals on Wheels delivers hot meals to nearly 2,000 homebound seniors each day, but it's really more than just a meal. It's really a lifeline. It is a lifeline, and thank you for saying that. We like to say we deliver hot meals and warm smiles, and it's thanks to our volunteers. So we're working with clients that are 60 and above or disabled veterans of any age. And then we have a volunteer force of about 3,100 volunteers, and each day we're using about 150, and they're delivering meals across the entire county. We serve every day of the year except on Sundays. Saturday we deliver, Sunday we serve on Christmas Day, on Thanksgiving, it doesn't matter, we're there. In a month, we're delivering about 50,000 meals. In a year, about 625,000, which equates to over 330,000 individual touches to homebound seniors. We partner with Helen Woodward, and they provide for all of our clients who sign up free dog food and cat food that's delivered each week to them. It's a week supply, and it's tailored to that animal's needs. We have service centers up in North County in San Marcos, one in El Cajon, one down in Chula Vista, and one in Central San Diego, to make sure that we get proper coverage of the whole area. And a lot of these people, they're on a fixed income, of course, they're retired. They may have mobility issues, which is likely the case, and they're probably alone. 50% of the clients that we're delivering meals to live alone, and so our volunteers are the only person that they're gonna see that day. And sometimes the real hunger is for human connection, and that volunteer may be the only person that senior client sees in a day. Tell me how these visits make a difference. You know, if we can think back in some of the best days of our lives, it was around a table, a meal with family. So there's kind of an anticipation breaking bread that there's gonna be that human contact. So they're waiting for the volunteer to come and the volunteer is waiting and it could be their favorite client. And so that expectation that I'm waiting to see you is a really important part of it. And then the volunteer shows up and there's a lot that's happening right there. They're making sure that everything is okay. They can even report it on an app if there's something, if there's a change of condition, it's transmitted to our team right away. And then multiple times a week across the county, there's a senior that's fallen and they're yelling for help when we knock on the door. If we hadn't come that day, they'd be on the floor for another 24 or 48 hours before somebody found them. And this happens all year long. So there are all these beautiful things happening all at once, but it's really packaged in a friendly visit, a hot meal and a warm smile. And that's kind of our secret sauce. Now your nonprofit was awarded a $500,000 grant from SDG&E's Community Assistance yes. Fund. How will this investment help you further your mission? Yeah, our gratitude toward SDG&E, who has been a remarkable partner already for the last 15 years, is just off the charts. In a moment when the senior population is growing at unprecedented rates, right? We're gonna be one in four citizens in our county is gonna be a senior in seven years. And so what we wanna do is double the number of clients we can serve and also double the number of volunteers that we have to serve those clients. And we also partner with San Diego Hunger Coalition to identify the pockets in the county, of the zip code specifically, and it's very deep dive in data of where 5%, 10% of the need only is being met. So there are huge areas of need in the county. And so we can specifically target those areas. So $100,000 of this grant was specifically for community outreach, targeting people, meaning clients and volunteers. And then the rest is to expand that infrastructure that's greatly needed. Now it takes hundreds of volunteers to deliver those meals each day. And sometimes that act of kindness and compassion is a gift in itself. What do your volunteers tell you about this experience? Well, you know, many of our volunteers, about 70% are retired, but also younger people like to do this. And we invite people, we say, you know, if you've got a driver's license and love in your heart, you should sign up and deliver Meals on Wheels. You go to San Diego mealsonwheels.org and it's really easy to sign up. And it's something you can do also with your friends. You can bring a group along, companies will sponsor routes. So if we have 150 routes in the county, they'll say, okay, twice a month, three times a month, we're delivering for that route every month. And that's a really great thing to do. It's a team building exercise. It's a great bonding moment between grandparents and grandchildren or between parents and their children when they're teaching them the values of giving back. So we really encourage everybody to sign up and do that. Volunteers love it just as much, if not more than our clients. To volunteer or to learn more, call 619-295-9501 or visit SanDiegoMealsOnWheels.org. Brent, we thank you so much for all you do for our local seniors. Well, thank you for the shout out and the opportunity to spread the good word. And we thank you for joining us on San Diego Living. We'll see you next time.